So welcome to a brand new episode. I got the camera working again and I figured I'd give you a different shot of my office. Somebody was asking in one of my last episodes why is it I was filming in the car and why I wasn't looking at the camera. Um, it's because I have a long drive home and a lot of my free time takes place with no one else around when I'm in the car because I'm by myself. Usually when I come home I got family here. And the kids are being noisy and want to play, and it, I'll, end, I'll end up disrupting my webisode, so I'll shoot it on the way home. Every once in a while, though, I shoot it from the office. I got up from my nap a little while ago, probably way more information than you needed to know. But I'm hanging out, working on tomorrow's show, and figured I would record a webisode. So uh, we're one day away from the start of SB 1070. By the time you are watching this, we might know something from the judge in regards to what's going to happen with the law. We're hearing for the most part that more than likely Judge Susan Bolton will not uh, throw out the entire law, but maybe just throw out portions of the law and then implement the rest of it on Thursday. One of the biggest problems it sounded like she was dealing with last week when she was looking at the law was the matter of how long could you detain somebody until you check their immigration status. Now, I'm not a judge. I'm not a lawyer. However, you know, one could reasonably deduce that that time period shouldn't take all that long. Now, I understand there's a problem there if you don't have a set time that you will hold somebody or then release somebody. I can understand that being an issue. But for all intents and purposes, somebody who is detained because they don't have an ID, say they were pulled over for another infraction, if they don't have an ID, if their names aren't lining up with the registration on the car, if they're not found in the computer system of the law enforcement officer, it's fairly certain that that person more than likely is in the country illegally and they're going to be able to ascertain that in fairly short order. Or, as we know has happened in the past, they'll pull them up or they'll pull them over, they'll pull them up in their computer system and they'll find out the person actually had been pulled over before, had been busted for something else and actually deported. So if she were to throw out the judge, that portion of the bill, we would still have the majority of what SB 1070 does remain intact, but it would be, it would be more along the same lines of what happens now with uh, police officers handing over those they suspect of being illegal over to Border Patrol and having them sort it out. Or uh, Governor Jan Brewer could go and call a special session to have that part of the bill changed. Either way, it looks like we're going to have some part of SB 1070 um, implemented on Thursday. Now, what happens after that? Who knows? What happens to the other, to the other states that want to implement the same kind of bills? That's a big question mark. What happens with the civil disobedience, uh, civil disobedience from all the idiot open border groups? Um, that remains to be seen as well. A majority of those open border groups want to see 1070 enacted though because they want to be able to use it to try to prey on those who will be sympathetic to their cause and it's easier for them to grab on and continue to grab on to something like SB 1070 than it is to have it thrown out by a judge because then they don't have a tool of which to spread their agenda and try to gain more power. I know it sounds twisted and weird, but so are those who think that we're living in occupied Mexico and it's the magical land of Aslan and there should be no borders anyway. They need to get their heads examined. Uh, three things you learned though, real quick, and then I'll be finished. Uh, three things you learned from Tuesday's show about SB 1070 getting you ready for tomorrow. Um, don't be illegal. Uh, if you are illegal, don't break the law and you shouldn't break the law even if you're um, even if you are legal as well. So don't be illegal and don't break the law. And then third, if you're an employer, don't hire an illegal. Pretty simple. Those three things. Write them down. Don't be an illegal alien. Don't break the law. Don't hire an illegal alien. There. Now go forward living in a state where we actually go and enforce all of our laws. I love Arizona. All right, brand new episode, hopefully. If the batteries hold out, coming up on Thursday. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to the show. Don't forget, final week to donate to Honor Flight to send our U, our, uh, our uh, Southern Arizona uh, World War II veterans to Washington, D.C. to see their memorial. Hit the link on the homepage at 1041thetruth.com. Bye.